Metal recycling is becoming increasingly important from the perspective of both sustainability and economics. Metal recycling uses 85% less energy per kilogram of copper produced compared to primary production and has less impact on the environment. Worldwide copper recycling saves 100 million megawatts of electrical energy and 40 million tons of CO2 annually. Secondary metal processors and recyclers are taking a lead role in turning scrap and end-of-life materials into usable metal that can be reintroduced into the supply chain. Non-ferrous metal recycling typically involves the following five steps. Collection, pre-processing and sorting, crushing and shredding, physical separation, and pyro or hydrometallurgical processing. Depending on the recycling facility, these steps can happen all at the same location or at several locations. Once the end-of-life materials have been collected, sorted, crushed and shredded, various components, glass, plastics, ferrous, non-ferrous, can be separated based on physical properties such as gravity and magnetism. Copper and copper alloys will end up in the non-ferrous fraction that can either be refined in a furnace or be dissolved into a conductive electrolyte like sulfuric acid and Electra-1. Selective leaching techniques can be used to separate the precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, etc., from the so-called base metals, copper, nickel, tin, etc., in the non-ferrous fraction. A combination of direct electrowinning and other hydrometallurgical methods can then be used to separate and purify the individual metals. Copper can be directly electro one using emu electrowinning from a sulfuric acid electrolyte prepared from the non-ferrous fraction to produce pure copper cathode. Need help with your copper recovery process? Please contact us at info at emu.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.